Today is the first day back in the office after the FTC ban issued a ban yesterday on worker non-compete clauses. Yeah, though not in effect for another few months, that rule will prohibit companies from limiting their employees' ability to work for rivals. Our community reporter, Nicole Nielsen, dug a little deeper into the story today to find out just what all of this could mean for you. Em employees are ecstatic about this because it makes them more marketable. According to the Federal Trade Commission, nearly one in five Americans are subject to a non-compete clause at work. It means that employees can't leave their job to work for a competing employer. The ones that companies are most concerned about are people that are in IT, technical, software developers. The Federal Trade Commission voted 3-2 to two to approve a ban against non-competes on Tuesday afternoon when the new rule takes effect in 120 days. It makes all new and existing non-competes unenforceable, except for those at a senior executive level. Dallas employment attorney Raggy Dunn says it's big news for employees who lose their leverage when having to sign a non-compete clause. It forces their current company to pay them the value that they're worth. According to the FTC, the new rule could increase wages by nearly $300 billion per year, but the new rule won't go unchallenged. Within hours of the vote, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce said it would sue to block the rule. Here in Dallas, global tax firm CEO G. Brent Ryan filed a lawsuit yesterday in federal court for the Northern District of Texas against non-competes. We reached out for a statement today in which she described the FTC's new ban as unlawful. There may be a possibility that the, the FTC kicks the can down the road. Dunn says he expects it to be heavily challenged in court, even possibly delaying results. But in the end, he predicts employees just might win this battle. I think that this rule will be upheld by a court. I think you're going to see the floodgates open. I think you're going to see tens of thousands of employees move and say, I dare you to sue me now that this new rule has become into effect. In Dallas, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.